So uh, the first card that's fallen is, uh, you know, the card of the castle. So this is about stability coming in. But it's also saying have faith that all of it is going to work out. So no matter how it works out, it will work out for the best. Whichever way it goes, that situation is going to work out for your greatest and higher good. You might have been dealing with a lot of lies and deception uh, within that relationship. So whatever happened in it, it's going to all turn around for the better, for your betterment. And it's time for you to go out there and have some fun as well. So in the past, you know, you might have been obsessively thinking about what had happened. There's a bit of an obsession going on over here. So, you, you know, it, it's time for you to let go if that's where your thoughts have been focused on. And it looks like there's some kind of special celebration or occasion that you've attended recently as well. So going into the future, you've been dealing with too much of drama and it's now time for you to let go of all that drama. So whatever happened within that relationship, or even if you're in that relationship now, there might be too much of drama going on. And, you know, that's time. it's time for you to get, uh, get rid of that kind of energy because you can't sustain that kind of uh, drama energy for too long. It drains you. Uh, and, you know, it can end up making you sick. So it's time to let go of any kind of drama. Or if you're dealing with it, it's time to walk away from that kind of drama situation. Now, you're very loyal or very devoted to whatever relationship you're in. So maybe this is the reason why you're willing to uh, put up with all the drama that goes on with it. But it, the first card that's fallen is saying that no matter what is going on there, it's going to work out for the best. Uh, and, uh, you know... Um, but you do need to take a little bit of a break and go and have some fun as well. So you've got the sun card over here. So it looks like things are going to uh, turn, uh, you know, for the better. Uh, now the sun card brings in a lot of clarity. So if there was lies and deception or anything uh, that had been uh, hidden, that's all going to come to light because the sun shines very brightly and it brings out the truth. And it's also time for you to express your truth. Uh, because that will make the biggest change. You can see this couple with the sun shining, they are both being drawn together. So this is also a card about timing, and this is about to happen right now. But also with the sun coming out, it's going to bring the two of you or the clarity uh, to the both of, of you if you're in a relationship, and it's going to draw you closer together. It's going to make that bond much stronger. So, you know, it's a card that brings a lot of change, but it also means that, you know, some hard work needs to get done. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, it's about to happen. So it's it's on the verge of happening for you right now. Uh, you know, and it's a lot of happiness that comes in with the sun card. Because wherever the sun card shines, it always makes things better. So it looks like there might be somebody, uh, this might be you, uh, focusing a lot on your work. Uh, but, or this could be somebody, um, you know, that you admire. So you have somebody in your sights right now. Maybe they're very hardworking. Maybe you work with this person. So you might be, uh, you know, doing some kind of project with this person and they might be collaborating with you. Um, and you might be working with this person and, um, uh, you're very attracted to this person. Now, a lot of people admire this person, uh, but they seem to be very focused on their work and they don't seem to be giving anybody any attention right now. So there is somebody there that you're working with that you're attracted to, but they don't seem to be paying any attention to anybody else. So you've got the Queen of Cups over here. So you've been going through a period of feeling very, very lonely or depressed or moody. Um, you know, you've been hiding your feelings quite well, but maybe looking to the past a lot, uh, you know, to try and find answers to the question uh, why, as to why, you know, things have happened to you. So you are feeling pretty lonely and pretty, uh, you know, down, down about it. The Queen of Cups tends to stick, you know, to herself and, and not, um, you know, engage her energies with anybody else. And uh, she does tend to be a bit moody as well. So that could be the case uh, that is going on. So there is somebody that you have seen that you are very attracted to. Uh, but, uh, you know, considering, you know, your past uh, relationships, you might be feeling very, very uh, low about things or a bit moody right now. So um, in the past, you've got the strength card over here. So this is putting a lot of um, effort into a relationship that didn't seem to be working or didn't seem to be going uh, anywhere. Also, there seems to be have uh, there seems to have been a lot of problems. You see, this woman's uh, trying to battle this lion here, and this man is trying to shift this whole statue. So you've been putting um, you know a lot of effort into that relationship to try and make things work 
but maybe they didn't work because this uh, um, statue is not moving at all. And also there was a lot of problems within that relationship. So it doesn't seem, you know, you try to rope things in, you try to get everything sorted out, but it doesn't seem like things worked out within that relationship. Uh, and all your efforts seem to have been, uh, you know, um, for naught. It doesn't seem like it paid off at all. And it looks like there was a divorce situation that went down here because you've got the King of Cups over here. There's a break, broken communication over here, very defensive. Uh, so it looks like there might have been a divorce that went, uh, that happened. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe in the last three months, uh, the, the um, uh, results of that has come through. So whatever that relationship that was ended, uh, you know, there was a breakup in that because this is the 10 of uh, coins. This is also a breakup in finances. So if you were financially dependent on each other or your shared finances, it seems like that has come to an end. Maybe you felt that that person was too controlling. They kept trying to uh, make you do things or be the person that you want. Maybe they're watching your every move, looking over your shoulder every time you did something. Uh, so that could have been the case. And this is probably why uh you know this relationship did not break uh did not work out uh you felt too controlled and you felt like that person was not really listening to whatever you wanted to but there also seems to be a breakup in the finance so it looks like you know maybe you're waiting for um some kind of settlement or maybe you're waiting for uh, your your um finances to get sorted out after that divorce um but there was definitely some kind of separation and now you're uh, thinking about, you know, this is the separation of the financial part of it, Fin uh, you know, division of assets, really. So going into the future, you've got um, the Six of Cups over here. So you're getting back together with old friends. Uh, you know, maybe you're going back and, and revisiting the past again, um, going out and having a good time, really. Try not to overindulge. This is also kind of being, you know, overindulging in in in. You can see they're drinking a lot of alcohol over here, uh, going out and having a good time. So, you know, um, you know, try to keep uh, that to a minimum uh, because it just clouds the issue. But it looks like, you know, you're keeping your options open now. You're going out and you're meeting old friends or you're reuniting with old friends that you can communicate with or that you have, um, you know, a better uh, relationship with. Uh, you know, you're going out there and having some fun, you know, being the free single person that you are again. So you're re revisiting that part of your life again. So you've got the seven of coins over here, and this is rushing around, uh, you know, with work. So you are quite busy as well on the work front of here. It seems like, you know, you're trying to establish yourself financially. Um, and this person seems to be run off their feet. Uh, you know, uh, trying to get jobs done. So it looks like there's a lot of pressure as well coming from the work. Uh, you're having to invest a lot of time and effort into whatever you're doing as well. So that's making things a little bit difficult for you. So um, coming in for you, there's some kind of choice. Now, this is the lover's card. This could be a, a relationship that is coming uh, in for you. <coughs> Maybe there's somebody that you're very obsessed with or you want to start a relationship with somebody new. Or well, this could be just making a choice about what to do next. Uh, because this uh, the lover's card is also about choice. It's a card ruled by Mercury, making some kind of decision. If it's a card ruled by Mercury, it's all about communication with somebody. Now, this is a casual relationship. It's not necessarily something that's going to be long-term or loved-based. But it might be a, a relationship that you want to do, you know, almost like a rebound relationship um, after going through a difficult situation and, you know, you start off something, you know, just to get over what, what you've been through in the past. So that could well be the case. So you're planning on, you know, laying this old relationship to rest. You've got the death card over here and your hopes and fears. And this is what you want to do. You want to just lay everything to rest, uh, put it uh, behind you and start off some on a brand new path to something brand new that's more stable and, you know, you're looking to the future here, but you're leaving that past behind. You are upset that that relationship ended, but you're ready to move forward. So going into the future, you've got the uh, King of Coins over here, uh, the uh, Ace of Rods over here, and the Ace of Swords. Now, the King of Coins could be somebody that you're, um, you know, um, this could be you being very established or very focused on your work and trying to get to the top of your profession. Or this could be somebody that you're asking for some advice from, who is, you know, somebody that you work with, somebody that you respect. 
Uh, you could also be asking this person for a new job or you could be asking them to give you some kind of support. So this is somebody higher up in your uh, career, um, you know, that you're asking for that advice or, or they're there, they're playing some kind of role and they might be giving you some kind of financial assistance as well. You could be asking them for a new job or a raise or some kind of thing uh, because there's a lot of money on the table here and this person's very focused on it. So this could be somebody that's playing a very prominent role in your life coming in for you. Uh, and they could be older than you. So uh, you've got the Ace of Rods over here. So this is starting off something brand new. So you could be starting off a new project or you could be starting off a new sexual relationship because the Ace of Rods is about that physical relationship being started off, uh, a brand new relationship started off. You can see there's a got about over there, over the um, handle of that um, cane. So you could be starting a relationship. Now you could be starting a relationship with this person, the king of uh, coins. Now this could be a earth sign person. So it could be Capricorn, uh, Taurus or Virgo. And you have started a new relationship. That's, you know, very much uh, a very physical relationship um, with this particular person. You're definitely cutting out things that are no longer serving you. You can see the rose is being severed at the stem. So whatever you had in the past, whatever went down in the past, you have decided to make a clean break from it and you're going to start afresh. You've got two aces over here. You're putting your energy into another relationship and you're cutting out an old relationship. And like I said, you could be starting this relationship with this uh, person, the King of Cups, who's very established, uh, you know, very financially secure. Uh, and it could be an earth sign person or it could be an earth sign person. So it looks like something brand new coming in. You've let go of the past or you're letting go of the past. If you've been through a divorce, uh, all of that gets, you know, has been finalized. You might be sorting assets out of here. But it looks like there's some kind of brand new relationship that looks like it's more, you know, very physically based as well. And you are um, pretty busy as far as the work front goes. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the Guardian Angel Tarot. Oh, two fell. And that's for advice. And let's see. You've got the messenger of emotion, which says this is the beginning of a new emotional experience that could grow into something deeper. You may receive a message expressing feelings that you didn't even know were developing. A social invitation could soon be on its way for you. So there's some kind of message coming in for you or there's some kind of invitation coming in for you. Uh, and you could be starting this brand new relationship. It could develop into something much more stable, the cards say. So the Ace of Thoughts says, uh, this cherub has arrived to congratulation, uh, congratulate you for your brilliant new idea, uh, which is truly inspired. An important communication, uh, it is important to communicate clearly and thoroughly with others who are involved in the implementation of your idea. So this is about messages coming in and this is about communicating how you feel pretty clearly. Um, and uh, this is how you're going to. So a lot of communication between you and this new relationship that is coming in. And with the 10 of action, you are working too hard. The angels are asking you to find a healthy balance between your career and your personal life. Be willing to ask for help from others to lighten your load so that you can take better care of yourself. And uh, straining to make others happy uh, can be harmful for yourself. So, you know, you are pretty busy as far as work goes. You can see this person running around with the seven of coins. So with this ten of action, it's advising you to let go of some of the responsibilities of burdens and burdens um, and uh, start asking for help. And, you know, you'll have some more free time and you'll be able to focus on this relationship that is coming in for you. So there's some kind of invitation message coming in for you. Uh, you need to communicate very clearly with this person and make some time for them, really. If you want a relationship, you need to make some time for it. You can't, um, you know, you need to keep that balance between your personal life and the relationship. So if you can't have a relationship, if you have no time for it, so you will need to drop some burdens uh, and make some time for that relationship. 